Hello again everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video today showing you guys a little something that I've built uh, yesterday in fact for my bike. Basically what it is, um, I wanted a centre stand for the motorcycle because this bike doesn't come with a centre stand. Um, for years there wasn't one available for it. There is, you can now buy one, there is a company called T-Rex Racing who do do a uh, center stand for the Suzuki Van Van 125 and 200 so if you have this bike and you do want a proper center stand you can go check those guys out but um, I didn't want to be spending that kind of money uh, another option is I could have got a dirt bike stand um, but typically because the Suzuki Van Van is obviously it's kind of a scrambler styled thing but it's got a relatively low um, ground clearance something along the lines of a hundred no sorry 24 uh, centimeters uh, ground clearance which isn't very high so a lot of the uh, stands that are available are obviously for dirt bikes which have a higher ground clearance to begin with um, and then you know you've got other types of jack stands and stuff but generally they're a bit expensive and uh, for what I need it for because you know I only really need a center stand for when I'm working on things like the front of the bike like the forks and stuff like that um, Another quick thing you can get, so um, you guys have probably seen in my previous videos, I've got a uh, paddock stand for the rear for doing uh, adjustments and cleaning of the chain and stuff like that. Um, you can get similar things for the front, you can get um, fork stands which obviously support the forks, problem with that is you then can't remove the forks, uh, so that rules out working on them. Um, equally you can get a triple tree stand but again if you need to take this apart to replace bearings and stuff like that obviously that's not ideal so I wanted something that would support underneath the uh, centre of the bike so this is what I built um, I've actually made a few things out of wood recently uh, I'm not a carpenter I've never been one and I've never tried it but I did make the other day with a bit of help from my um, soon to be father-in-law I did actually make a um, TV stand and a bedside table obviously a lot nicer than this it was all sanded down and straighter and stuff like that this is just something I threw together in about 20 minutes just because for this application I didn't need it to be pretty I just needed it to be sturdy um, so it's quite simple it's made out of 6x4 it's got two braces on each side and that's all there is to it really. Uh, obviously for my bike, as I say, the bike's ground clearance is currently 24 millimeter, uh, centimeters. I can't remember what the official, I think it's 25 or 26 normally, but because I've got some extra stuff on the bottom there, it reduces it further to 24, I'll show you that in a minute. So I've made this 30 high, and then I've made it 40 by 40 square basically. So nice and simple. I'll show you how it works. Um, so just before I do, I will point a few quick things out. The first is that um, obviously the Suzuki Van Van, most dirt bikes, uh, when you get this kind of stand, you usually get the metal stands or whatever, you lift them up onto it. I do lift this up onto this stand, but I should point out for anyone who is looking to do a similar thing, these bikes are quite heavy. Um, for one, for 125, it's quite a heavy bike. Obviously, it's not as heavy as a big 600 or something, but it's still heavy for what it is. Uh, certainly heavier than most dirt bikes. So just bear that in mind if you're going to be doing this and you've got a bit of a dodgy back or something, probably not the best idea, but generally for most people, it's perfectly fine. Um, the other thing I should point out is that the Suzuki Van Van normally, um, the engine forms part of the frame and it's not perfectly flat so you've got bolts and the uh, sump bolts and stuff like that under there so in its standard form you can't really use uh, this kind of stand you really need uh, what I've got here which is um, I've got the um, uh, crash bars so you've got actual bars here and then the plate at the front but this whole thing forms a flat surface which it can sit on um, which means that it can sit on here without damaging anything under the engine anything like that so obviously if you have this bike but don't have that guard underneath then this isn't really an option but if you do and you're looking for a cheap and easy way to stick it up on a center stand and have both wheels off the ground this is the way to do it so well either that way you can just go buy a stand as I say but because I have the wood available and it's free you know <laughs> every little helps so basically uh, take it around that way actually all I do is Chuck this about here, and then 
camera on this side and then the way I get this up onto the stand is, as I say, it's exactly the same way as you would with a dirt bike. Um, it's just, as I say, a tiny bit heavier. Although, actually, now I come to think of it, it's probably not as heavy or probably the same weight as one of the sort of 400 or 650 dirt bikes, you know, those old big ones from the 80s, 90s or whatever. Um, but certainly if you're comparing it to a 125cc dirt bike, this more than likely is just a little bit heavier. Um, but even so, just by grabbing the rear um, thingy here, obviously I'm supporting it on my legs here as well, I'm just going to lift it up. Actually, pretty much with a little bit of wiggling as well. Bring it back a bit. A little bit more that way. A bit stuck on something. I do sometimes have to give it a bit of a wiggle just to get it where I want it. There we go. Mm. A little bit more that way. And there we go. Try that, that way. So yeah, as you can see, you see on this side it just rests on those bars there. Go around the other side, show you the same thing. Yep, so you see we're not we're not fouling on the engine. You can see well, hopefully you guys can see the engine is obviously slightly above the bars. And it's just resting on the bars and the flat part of that bash plate. And it's all good to go. So now I can do stuff with the front wheel, I can take the forks off, I can take the triple tree apart, anything I need to do at the front. Equally, if we come around here, oh, I've got full access to the back wheel, it's currently in gear, there we go. Yeah, access to the back wheel, to the chain, everything else that I need to work on. And that's it, real simple, as I say, it took me 20 minutes and, well 20 minutes, half an hour, couple of screws and some reclaimed wood off a building site and it's a handy little stool. As I said before, it's not very often I need to get the bike up like this. It's really predominantly for working on the front really because if I'm just working on the back I've got that stand but you know if I need it up from doing any major works on it it's just a handy thing to have in the garage. Um, so there you go guys that's just a little look at my latest project. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Go check out my other videos, and for now, I'll catch you again soon.